Baja holds a special place in my heart, specifically the Baja Divide. It's 1,700 rugged and beautiful miles from top to bottom. I've ridden most of the route on previous trips and I'll link those videos below. This version about the Cape Loop is a bit different than my typical content. It's a compilation of my best shots and I've taken out all the music and a lot of the talking, leaving only the natural sounds. The goal is to put you on the seat of my bike as I travel through this gorgeous desert. My hope is that you sit back and get lost in the stunning scenery. As always, I'm riding the 600X, the bike that I helped design with my friends at Priority Bicycles. All right, let's get to it. slow going but that's why I came here to go kind of slow <laughs> and if you look at my trail all the way down the road it's pretty squiggly Riding Baja takes a lot of finesse and it's all about learning how to navigate sand and washboards. And there are some moments that really kind of suck because it's really deep sand and you have to just push your bike, you gotta get off. In other moments, like right now, it's smooth and it can all change in a matter of minutes or seconds sometimes. Can't get too comfortable out here. You know, one of the only things I like about riding in sand is the whoosh sound as you pedal through it. On social media and post stuff. I'm gonna be turning inland today. This is gonna be the last view I have of the 
The ocean. Bye. Or the sea. The Sea of Cortez. I won't see water till I get to the other side. The Pacific Ocean in a town called Todos Santos. What's up, Shadow? How you doing? Let's go have an awesome day. <laughs> so quiet, I love it. This is a big reason for why I come to Baja. The quiet, the solitude. Let's go, let's get started. Okay, top speed here. Oh gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good job, Shadow. Way to go. Come on, legs. You got this. It's just a hill. Woo, I am up here. Yeah. Rum, rum, rum. sand I've missed you not you got this buddy you got this you got this <laughs> let's do it come on come on here we go Woo. come on whoa I'm surfing here whoa this is deep come on here we go. Uh, uh, whew. 
Good afternoon, vacas, cows. I found an awesome restaurant right off the road that I was riding in. It is Sunday, it is packed. I ordered two Ordens, orders of quesadillas and they gave me a lot. So, uh, buen provecho. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to be here right now, listening to this bouncy Mexican music. Life is good. So I asked at the restaurant where to fill up with agua purificada, purified water, and they said, there's a llave right here. A little place to get water. I'm like, it's clean to drink? They're like, yeah, dude, do it. <sighs> Tastes good. And when you get to the end of the day and you have sand and uphill, you walk, or at least I do. <laughs> oh boy, I'm feeling it. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> It is time, my friends, for my first Nutella tortilla. A French crap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, nice, soft, sandy ground for a beautiful place to sleep right beneath this big mountain where I'm headed today. That's about it. <laughs> Straight to pushing. It's gonna be a pushing morning. Trying to find the path of least resistance. But it's mostly just resistance out here. <laughs> there we go, come on. And it's pretty overgrown. Bring back memories of my very first ride on the divide in 2017. This is just a test in patience. There's a lesson in everything. Go slow and enjoy it as much as you can. You don't have to force yourself to be happy, but hey, you know what? It's Monday morning, I'm not sitting in an office. I'm out here in Baja pushing my bike. It's a beautiful day. That's not that bad, you know? Keep pedaling, you can do it. <laughs> oh boy. I knew what I was getting into when I came to Baja. A lot of sand. All right, that might have been the slowest three and a half miles on a bike. Really wasn't on my bike much. You know, some people wake up in the morning and take their dogs for a walk. I took my, my beautiful Priority 600X for a walk. Good morning, cows. Buenos dias, vacas.
Oh, it's nice and cold. Oh my God, it's freezing cold actually. But I will take it. Whoa. And as you can see, the water is crystal clear. I even saw some tadpoles in here. Hello, cows. Hello. Those are some nice horns. It's the Pacific Ocean! Oh, we got some technical riding here. I'm gonna get off here. It's no use in breaking my bike or my body. Time to use my little lightsaber, my UV pen to filter some water. Check it out. It's just gonna do its magic in there. Kill all the bacteria. Woo. I like riding through the water. It cools off my feet. <laughs> So I saw these palm trees off from a distance away and palm trees usually mean water. And I found a little bit of water. I'm gonna follow down here and see if there's actually a pool, but if not, still good. I'm probably gonna camp here. This is nice. <laughs> it's definitely a nice beach to camp on. And now, since I have access to a little bit of water, I'm gonna clean off my legs. My shins always get covered in dust and dirt. And it just feels nicer to sleep when your skin isn't sticky. <laughs> and you know what it's time for? Frijole! Oh yeah, looks gross, but it's not. Yum yum, look at all that good protein and carbs. Ta-da! <laughs> look at that, now it's happy hour. Mmm. Look at this. Beach side resort. I'm loving the sound of the sapos, the frogs. And we have a beautiful sky this morning. It's like peach colored.
Gonna walk up this riverbed for a little bit. And make it back to the road. Ow. Ow. That plant, I'm gonna show you this plant, is one of the most evil ones here. So from far away, this just looks like a regular old tree. But as you get closer, you see its true colors. Look at these guys. Evil. Do not brush up against one of these. All right, I'm back on the road. Let's do this. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. I'm about 20 miles away from a town called Todos Santos on the Pacific side. And I think I might take a short day. Good morning, Shadow. Good morning, cows. How you doing, bud? First order of business, as always, burritos. I was looking for a cheap hotel because I'm cheap like that. I found this Toro Santos Hostel and look at it. Look, they're giving me a glamping tent. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Thank you, amazing $60 glamping tent. Well, there you are, waiting for me. Let's go. Good morning. Buenos dias. No crashies, no flatties, and definitely no whammies. Good morning, good morning. Excuse me.
there's not enough to jump in, but I just love the sound. It's soothing and just the presence of water makes me feel more comfortable. I don't need any water right now. I have plenty, but I'm sure I'll pass lots of water heading into these hills. Some steep stuff. Oh, 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 God. Oh, didn't make it. Well, okay, well, let's start that one over. There, and rewind. Boom, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Here's some techie stuff. Whoop, whoop. Oh yeah. Nice. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Water, agua. Here we go. Yeah. Up here. Oh. Oh. Man, haven't had to work this hard on the entire ride. Feels good. That's fun. Whew. All those bushes are sharp. Every time I smack into one, it scratches me. Hey buddy. Coming through. Meep meep. What's up, Shadow? How you doing, buddy? I'm rolling into this tiny town called El Rosario. Man, it looks like something out of a Wild West movie. There's even a church, of course. Ah, oh, this place is awesome. This is such a cute little restaurant. I love it. She has all these wonderful Christmas decorations and life affirmations and it is cozy for sure. You know what they say in Mexico before you eat? Buen provecho. That's kind of their way of saying bon appetit. <laughs> Gracias, Janet. Usted es muy amable por hacerme la comida. Gracias a usted. I have found my spot for the day. I'm about 45 seconds from where I just ate food. 
and I rode into this cactus sanctuary. Buenas noches. I'm liking my little fire right outside the door. <laughs> you know what's funny is I get so much rest when I'm in Baja. The sun goes down. It is dark, dark at like 6. And then I'm laying down in my tent till 6, 6.30 the next morning. 12 hours. That's a good way for your body to recoup. <laughs> Sleep a lot. The roosters are roostering. Oh, I see some calls. Oh yeah, that is warm. Nice. Peanut butter jelly time. <clears throat> Without the jelly. You know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna break up a cookie. Oh yeah, this is a deluxe breakfast crepe. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. And today, I think I'm gonna be heading, well not think, I'm gonna be on the Sea of Cortez somewhere. My goal is to get a beautiful campsite next to the water. Woo! Oh, hi little cuties. Oh, it's the killer chihuahuas. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. All right, bye guys. Bye. Oh, you're gonna come with me? Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. <laughs> oh, there's so many of you. I don't want to run you over. Oh, dear. Check that out. That's a beautiful cardon. Barbon. And I just want to take a moment here to give a shout out to my bike, the 600X. It's performed flawlessly. This drivetrain is made for Baja. All the sand and dust that I've been going through has been no problem for the gears and the gates carbon drive. That pinion is oblivious to what's happening on the outside of it.
You know me, I'm the burrito hunter, and check it out, I have a plate of burritos. I'm at a roadside stand right here that has three tables at it. This is my favorite place to eat in Mexico. I don't like fancy restaurants. This is it right here. They have these water stations all over Baja. They're great. They cost like five pesos to fill up all my water bottles. And what it does is it allows you to avoid buying plastic bottles in all the convenience stores and so. Okay. There it is. There's my water. Love it. Lickety splickety. That's where I came from today, way out there, those mountains. And I'm steps away from the sea. I'm not usually a fan of graffiti out in nature, but this says, disfruta la vida, enjoy life. All right, I like that, and I do that. Oh yeah, this is a tough one. Can you tell by my breathing how hard that one was? <laughs> Probably doesn't look that steep on the camera, but it is. Whew, huh, I wasn't expecting that today. That was hard, but it was good. Oh. I can feel it. Damn it. Come on, buddy, you can you can do it. Fill yourself up. You're you're tubeless. Uh -huh. Here's my little bacon strips. Okay, so I shoved one in that hole too. So we have one bacon strip right here along the crease near the rim. And another one right here. For now it's holding. We'll see how long this lasts. Woo! Ooh, yeah. Rocky. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Looks like I just blew one of the bacon strips. Ah, oh, man. It just popped right out. i try one more time, just jam another one in there. All right, here we go again, one more time. Let's go, I got a date with the beach. That's what I've been waiting to see all day. Oh, I can smell it. it. Smells salty and good. All right. That looks pretty good. Yeah. It's my own private cove right here. Oh yeah. It's a little harder to get in to the water when it's a bunch of slippery rocks, but I am determined. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love you, Baja! Woo!
Not a bad place to wake up. The waves are a lot rowdier now than they were yesterday. Thank you, epic camp spot. This was an amazing place to spend the night. My final night of my adventure. Now I'm gonna ride down the coast to Los Barriles, about 20 miles from here, and uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's Friday. Whew. Man, this place is beautiful. We're having a parade here. Hi guys, hello, hello. Woo! <laughs> Are you seeing this? <laughs> Amazing. I gotta take advantage of being next to the beach. This is too special. And my mom said it's like four degrees in Colorado, so. <sighs> This is it right here. I like it here. <laughs> you know, Baja means a lot to me. Over the years of coming here, my first time being 2010, I've done a lot of growing up. Shoot, I've done a lot of growing up just this week. It's only been a seven day trip, but it's been really impactful. And that's why I love biking. That's why I love getting outside and pushing my body. You know, you feel alive. From my very first bike trip, that's all, what I've always told people, is that I feel alive when I'm out there on the road, waking up in the woods or on the side of a beach and packing up my gear and just figuring it all out and moving forward and having fun and connecting with awesome humans. That's what it's all about. And it's nice to come back here now on my fourth trip, finish the Baja Divide finally, <laughs> you know, and just sit here and look out into the ocean, out of the sea, listen to the waves and realize what a privilege it is to be here and to be sharing these stories with you. It's an absolute honor to create these videos in hopes of inspiring you to go out and challenge yourselves. La vida es buena! Woo! Viva Mexico! Viva Baja! Oh, and please tell all your friends to watch my videos and like and subscribe. And if you have the ability, consider joining my Patreon You'll get early release videos with no ads and direct access to be able to chat with me about anything for as little as $3 a month. And that's what keeps my channel going, keeps it moving forward. So thank you once again for joining me on another Mexican adventure. Stay tuned for, for more fun stuff, of course. And as always, get off your couch and get out there. <laughs>